Shalom, shalom, real motivation. Terrence McKinney back with a brand new video. Up top, I'm going to give all praises to the Most High. Uh, today, I want to talk about June 19th and the 4th of July. Now, we got June 19th coming up, and I just want to express to y'all how I feel about it and the 4th of July because to me, these is both holidays that we shouldn't be celebrating. And when I say we, I mean anybody that look like me that's watching this video that's in the United States, you shouldn't be taking no part in June 19th or 4th of July. And I'm gonna break it down to you and explain why. First of all, June 19th is a bunch of bullshit when I'm just speaking literal. Like, you know, it's supposed to be the day when the slaves got free and they made it a national holiday a couple years ago and now they want all of us to, to celebrate it. But when you really look at things, it don't make sense and we shouldn't celebrate it because when you think about it, like ever since we've been in this land of captivity, we ain't never been free. And for them to just come up with this date that's just a, a scheme to make money and and we're gonna break it down but first of all i'm gonna break down the, the stuff to how we never been free like and uh first of all when it, when when that happened and, and whenever it happened i mean you got to think about all the stuff that happened since then i mean if you was free it, it shouldn't have been no you no need for drink, jim crow laws you know that ain't freedom. If they if they got laws targeted just for you saying what you can and what you can't do in this country, that ain't freedom. Uh, if you was free, then it wouldn't have been no segregation. It wouldn't have been no, you got to go to the back of the bus or you can only drink from this water fountain. It, it wouldn't have been none of that if you was actually free in this country. It wouldn't have been no, you just getting voting, voting rights 100 years later after you were supposed to be free. It wouldn't have been none of that. That That is not considered freedom. If you was really free, it wouldn't have been no sundown laws. It wouldn't have been that you gotta be in a certain house. I mean, you gotta be in that, in, that, uh, in the house at a certain time because if you get caught in the streets out the dark, it wouldn't have, ain't no telling what you might what they might do to you if they find you. You, you might have been hanged in the next morning if you had if you was caught outside at a certain time. If you was free in in eighteen whatever it was, sixty five, I don't even know the, the correct date because I know that's when the, the Civil War was, but I don't know the correct date supposedly for June nineteenth because I'm telling you I don't I don't study it and I don't give it no credence because I, I see the freedom. Like, I could see, like, how we struggling today. But if you was free then, there wouldn't have been no chain gangs. They wouldn't have been kidnapping. Yes, I mean kidnapping grown adults and, and young men and, and making them serve in chain games when they ain't did no crime. And they wouldn't have been getting horrendous sentences, you know. And, and you, you go all the way today, like, you know, how everything just set up like like yeah we got a little freedom we the the provide for ourselves but it's still it's still like you know a mix up it's still like a big difference like you know what i'm saying when we compare it to white people like you know and, and i'm not a prejudiced person so i look at everybody the same like but i'm just stating the facts like because i love whoever love me and whoever you know what i'm saying united in, in the blood of Christ, so I got respect for everybody, you know, whatever race you is, but if we was free, there wouldn't be no equal opportunity act, like today, like, it, you wouldn't need none of that, like, it, it, you wouldn't have to hire so many black people just to meet a quota, and I work every single day, and, and I realize it, you know, I've been in the workforce for 20 20 to 25 years working non-stop, and I, and I always go to work, you know what I'm saying, put my best foot forward, and I always try to excel so I can provide for my family. But one thing I have noticed is the more I excel and the higher I get up in the room, the number of people that look like me get fewer and fewer and fewer. In plenty of cases, 
I done been overlooked for jobs, you know, and other people been promoted instead of me. When I know I, I'm a better worker than them, I care more than them, and I produce more results. And, and I even paint the picture, I'm even a better representation for that company. And I still done got looked over. Like, and when you get, the higher you get up, the more and more less you see people like yourself sitting in them same rooms. And, and that's crazy. And that's today, in 2022. Like, you know, so I don't, I don't know how that's, you can look and, and think that you're free when, when you're really not. Like, I mean, when you just look around, just, just think about, it wouldn't be no or Rooney rule, like, you know, if you was free. When you think of all the major sports, you, you look at basketball and you look at football, 90, 90% of the stars and the players look like me. But when you look at them sidelines and you look at them coaches, <laughs> it's the opposite way around. Like, and, you know, you got the, the one guy, uh, Brian Flores, who's suing the Miami Dolphins right now on how he was racially discriminated and how he was they wanted him to lose games but you won't hear no white man ever come out and say that you know uh, that they was you know told to lose games you know they put a black man in that position and, and put that weight on his shoulders and, and if he would have went through with that it, guess what you would have seen less and less black coaches like you know what I'm saying, but what you really see right now, when you look on the sidelines, it ain't too many of them looking like us in the leagues. In the leagues, that's ranked by black players. Like you know, so it's crazy. That ain't freedom, you know. And he wouldn't be suing them for millions and millions of dollars if if that's freedom, you know. And so uh, yeah, we got to think deeper, like you know, uh, and we, we got to realize that this is the land of our captivity. Like this is where we was brought to, you know, and this is the land, of, we still in captivity. We still not in the position to control much things. You, you look at the music business. It, I mean, 90% of the most talented hip hop artists and R&B singers and everything, is, they black, but guess what? They own by white people. That ain't freedom. Like, you know, when you look, when you look around on what we own, is absolutely zero. Like, and, and it ain't because we don't want to own stuff. It's that we can never get put in that position to own stuff. That that is not freedom. Freedom is when you got the the same, you know, chances as somebody else. You know, and regardless of their race and their creed. But that ain't here. You know, and you shouldn't be celebrating on June 19th. I mean, and when you look at it, June 19th to me is just a ploy to make money. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I'm about to start posting these pictures, like, you know, they, they try to make June 19th like the 4th of July to where you going out and you spending a whole lot of money to celebrate something. But they, they selling you June 19th ice cream. They got June 19th plates. They got June 19th silverware. They got June 19th party supplies. They got June 19th everything. But guess what? Who's selling it? It's coming from Amazon. It's coming from Etsy or Etsy or whatever it's called. It's coming from Target. It's coming from Walmart. You know, like they putting something out there for black people to buy just to get that black dollar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no black owned stores pushing this stuff. And you got to think about it. If they want to give you something, why they ain't give you reparations? That's something you'll never see, you know? And just, 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 just look at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look at our history. You know what I'm saying? We gave billions and billions and billions of dollars uh, to the Japanese people. And no disrespect to the Japanese people. I mean, getting put in, uh, in consecration camps or whatever you want to call it when they locked y'all up during Pearl Harbor, that, that was unjust. But speaking for me and my people, we done suffered, <laughs> you know, 250 years of unjust treatment, 40 years of unjust treatment where we was literally in slavery and we lost millions and millions of, of people just like me every day. And nobody gave two humps and, and nobody gave them anything. So they give you a date 
and, and tell you you should celebrate that and you should be happy, you got to really think about what freedom is, and you got to really think about what they're giving you. You know, they if they can get billions and billions of dollars to dollars to the Japanese, and you the people that built this country, you the people off your sweat, off your free labor, off everything that you invested, you the people like that 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 the backbone of this country. Like you know what I'm saying? You get zero, you get zero recognition for anything out there. They give you a month and they expect you to be happy about that. They give you black history one month to focus on the history uh, of what blacks did in this country. But they never teach you about the history that that happened before they came to get you and the reason why they came to get you. And that's why I don't take no consideration into black history because our history go deeper than 400 years. But that ain't freedom. If they want to give you something, I know thousands of people like me like rather have you know, a big settlement check, just like they gave all the uh, Japanese Americans. If you was free, you wouldn't have to go through all that. And just think about it, I mean, they got millions and millions and trillions of dollars to go help out Ukrainians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you been promised reparations forever. Like, you know, I mean, it said you was gonna get your 40 acres and a mule, but that ain't never happened, and guess what? It ain't gonna never happen. And if you was free, you wouldn't see cops killing us every single day. You wouldn't see, you know, mass murderers going on shooting rampages and, and shooting up us while we in, and shooting up our people while we in church, shooting up our people while we in uh, supermarkets, shooting up our people and just just have an open season on these people. And, and the crazy part about it. You know, if, if a black man did that, they would kill him on the spot. They would kill him on the spot. The only way they wouldn't kill him is if he literally came out with his hands up. But nine times out of ten, that really don't mean nothing. You've seen what happened to George Floyd. He didn't even put up a, a fight, and he got killed on camera, you know, like by a policeman. That ain't freedom, you know. These unjust laws, man, that is not freedom. If, if you black and you white and you do the same crime, guess what? You ain't gonna get the same time. That's guaranteed. That's not freedom. We gotta think deeper, man, and, and realize what freedom is, man. You know, they give us felonies, slap them to our, our names, and slap them to our records, and we screwed for the rest of our life, you know? Uh, we messed up mentally. It's like derail us, you know? That's not freedom. Freedom ain't when they give you drugs and they manufacture drugs like crack and everything else and they put it in your in your neighborhoods just to see more destruction. And like they when the CIA manufacture stuff like that and give it to you just so you can kill yourself off. That ain't freedom, man. Like and we lost, like we running around celebrating a uh, June nineteenth a day, like, oh we get to get off of work, first barbecue, this is the day they freed the slaves. No. Oh. You still in captivity, and you still in the land of your captivity, and nobody's making amends for all these years of suffering and everything else. Like, so we gotta we gotta think deeper, man. And anybody like me watching this video should just automatically reject that day and, and not celebrate it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's time for us to, to rise up as a people and realize that we smarter than what they think. But if we don't act like that, then they can continue to feed us anything and do anything to us. Like, I mean, you just got to look around, man, and look at the news every single day and, and, and see the type of persecution we constantly under. Like, and you got to think, is that really freedom? Like, whew, man, they get deep when I just started to really think about it, man, like, because it's crazy. Like, you know, I mean, they pit us against each other, they kill each other, you know, we out here murdering each other, like, we ain't brothers, like, we don't look alike, like, it, it, it just get deep, man. And that's the same way, the same reason why I don't celebrate 4th of July, man. 4th of July, America got its independence in 1776, and, and I don't celebrate 4th of July before I, be, I got conscious and woke up in 1776. We were slaves, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Almost a hundred years later, you know what I'm saying? 
is, is when we so quote unquote got free. But yeah, we running around and, and we celebrate it, America's Independence Day when we ain't have no independence when they first brought out this Independence Day. We was the people, you know what I'm saying, doing the work while they was out celebrating their Independence Day. And, and you got to think, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can you celebrate a day when you was, a bond, you was in bondage those first hundred years? You know what I'm saying? That this whole holiday, you, like literally when I say in bondage, I mean you was in, 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 in chains and getting whipped those first hundred years while America was celebrating this independence. And we should dress up in red, white, and blue and be happy for that? Nah. Not at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? When the Constitution was written, you was considered three-fifths of man. <laughs> three-fifths of man. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when you can be more of a man than the people that was white, you know, that you can't celebrate that. Like, I was at a graduation the other day, and they played the national anthem, and I... I I sat down, I stayed seated the whole time. And somebody asked me, oh, what, you think you call it comforting now? No, when this song was written in 1812, guess what? We were slaves, we was in bondage. So why should I partake in this now? Why should I stand for the national anthem that even consider me a full man? And like now I should stand for that? No, like, and, and I have celebrated 4th of July as being young, not thinking, just into it for the fireworks, into it for the food and everything else. But once I woke up and I, I became spiritually alive and, and start thinking with my right mind, you gotta move different. It's, it's certain stuff that I can't just do like I used to do. And so, if you watching this video, I heard these words touch you and you feel what I'm saying because we gotta start thinking, you know? And we start, we gotta start rising up. We gotta start really using our brain or else we gonna be stuck in the same predicament and not even in the same predicament. Like our trajectory is going down. It's getting worse for us. Like it, it ain't, 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 nothing got better for us, you know? All that marching that we do every time something happens, that don't stop nothing. Don't stop nothing. It don't stop the killing. Don't stop the unjust laws. It don't don't stop nothing. Like and, and we we continually to think that whoever we vote in there gonna help us. Man, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Somebody look like you in there and it ain't helped you. So why would you think somebody else <laughs> gonna help you and come help you, man? Like it, so we gotta think, man. And so. That's why I'm anti Juneteenth, and that's why I'm anti Fourth of July. You know, please like, share, comment, and let me know how you feel. Shalom, real motivation.